So today here, Electric Pages is at Munich Electronica 2022, and I'm joined by... Uh, Adam Jeffrey, uh, Senior Product Manager at Dishbreak. Fantastic. So the first question I've got for you is to ask, well, to tell the uh, audience, what is it that your company does and how it makes you different? Yeah, so we're a high service uh, distributor. So we have a fantastic website. Uh, and at the minute, currently, we have over 150,000 products in stock. Right. We also have... Um, uh, upwards of 50,000 uh, other products available as well uh, for, for ordering today. Okay. And so, and so, what what makes that different to other distributors out there? Okay. So we are, you know, we are high service. So it's about customer service, about fast delivery. So delivery next day to anywhere in Europe. Um, anywhere in Europe. Anywhere in Europe. Oh, yeah. ne next day. Yes, next oh, day. Right, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, right. so it's um, very, very, very fast. It's very, very quick and it responds to changes very yeah, fast. Yeah, so we've got a very user-friendly website. Right. Um, search any any product that you want in there. There might be an alternative on there for, for you as well. Um, but with that, yeah, quick order process through to the checkout. We, you can upload bill of materials. Uh, and if you've got something, bigger project that you want to want to look, look at or talk to us about, uh, you can contact our uh, customer service teams uh, in, in each country as well. Um, so, so is it is it that you target all applications for uh, for engineering, or are there like sort of specific markets that you like to focus on? Yes, yeah, so what we have is um, the core of our business uh, is and always will be uh, servicing MRO, um, but where we're seeing huge growth at the minute and we are positioning our products uh, accordingly uh, is around automation uh, and component electronics. So, design engineers. Two of our core markets are Switzerland and Scandinavia, uh, which is a hotbed for design engineers. So we have positioned our sort of a product portfolio accordingly. Okay. Next year, a real focus for us is trying to support our automation customers uh, as much as possible. So what we have, we work with great brands like Siemens, Phoenix Contact, who do full automation solutions. Um, but then also we have uh, specialists. So we have the likes of Moxa, where you can get your industrial communications right. from. We have brands like Six Sensors, so to get your sensor solutions. What we want to do is bring all those pieces of the puzzle together uh, for our automation customers. So it's a one-stop shop um, for whatever their application is. So, so you talk a lot about automation. Is that industrial, IoT, IIoT, that kind of thing? Yeah, it was, it's all aspects of automation. So whether it's a a huge distribution center that, that, that people want to upgrade, we can do that. Whether it's a, an older, already inbuilt, inbuilt system that needs replacements, we can service that as well. Uh, and then, as I said, the important thing is you can get stock now, we can deliver it to you straight yeah. away. Yeah. And that, that, that must have been quite a challenge during the COVID era, era when stocks were just absolutely mental across the entire industry. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've done really well. So we do a lot of, a lot of planning, uh, oh, a lot of foresight. <laughs> We have great supplier relationships as well, so, so we, that, we that, leverage that. For stock. So that gives you a lot of differentiation over other distributors because you, like you said, you, you've plans for these kind of things. So absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's certainly uh, it's been a great show this week. Lots of positive conversations with, with suppliers, and uh, they obviously oh, see the value in Distrolec uh, and oh, the competition. Yeah. So. What are the typical challenges that you see engineers uh, coming to you? What, you know, the, the problems that they have. What is it that they tend to face? So you've got two aspects really. So obviously it's the MRO uh, issue. So something that's broken down potentially. Um, we are there on hand. We do have technical support in each country we operate, so they could pick up the phone, ask for a solution, yep. and we we can offer that. Um, the other aspect is the design side. So, uh, you know, if you're at the start of the design process, you want to buy, yes, maybe one chip, but then you can get everything else that goes alongside with yeah. it. So, yeah, you can get your, your MCU or microprocessor, but then alongside that, you can come, you can buy your connectors, you can buy your resistors, your capacitors, diodes, whatever it is you need. So, again, it's all about that one stop shop uh, for quick, fast delivery. So maybe a design engineer is missing something they're not thought about. Straight away, log online, very user-friendly right interface, there. bang, with you next day. So one thing that you talked about before we set all of this up, yeah. you mentioned about uh, encouraging customers to use new parts. Could you go into a bit of detail about that? Yeah, so what we do for our supplier partners is we see the market. So any new products, 
we'll be first to market with them uh, for our key suppliers. What we do is we uh, make sure we, we want to we want our customers to have the latest cutting edge technology. Yeah. And we work with our supplier partners. We make sure we number one work for them and make sure we seat the market. But number two work for our customers by providing them with the latest and greatest technologies. So what we really really pride ourselves on is our quickness to market on these new products. And and do you feel that helps the secure supply chain as well? If customers you know try to use the newest stuff instead of using things that are on the you know, older, maybe 10, 10 years Yeah, hundred percent. I think with ever changing technology, uh, you know, we spoke, you mentioned COVID. Um, yeah, that's that's given a real drive in places wanting to be more uh, you know, automation driven, um, relying on people as such. Um, but to do that, you do need the latest technology. Everyone wants everything smaller as well and using less power. So that, that's a massive that's a massive point in the industry at in the moment. Absolutely, power. yeah. And it's been a, uh, this show this week we've seen that it's a real focus about you being as energy efficient as possible. Uh, but to do that, you need the latest and greatest products to, to be able to fit into your application. So I've all, so the, the stand we're currently in is the OEM yes, secret stand, yeah. and that's something I saw because your name actually appears on the list of dis uh, distributors. So yes, yeah. Give us a bit of information about what's going on there, then. Yeah, so we partnered with OEM Secrets uh, this week. Um, OEM Secrets have a great subscription base for uh, electronic engineers or people that work within the industry. Uh, so we work with them to leverage um, their subscription base. So they receive offers from us, they see uh, rich content from us as well. What we try to do is educate our customers on these new products and work with the likes of OEM Secrets. It gives us another channel to do that. And, and so that's actually that's quite interesting you mentioned the education part because a lot of distributors will often be like, oh, we sell these parts, you choose what you want. But what you're really, you're, you're taking a more active role in the component selection yes. stage yeah. and you're really trying to push to the customers Okay, you could use that, but there might be better parts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's really important for that we do that for our supplier uh, partners. Um, it's a challenging task designing in new products. So and trying to get the attention of customers for new products. You know, these guys, design engineers, busy people, as we all Very are. Very busy, yeah. Um, so we need to make sure the content is perfect for them to get a nice quick snapshot understand the product as simply and effectively as possible so that when the time comes that they do need a certain solution they can think ah okay I remember that content I remember that that, uh, that product that we saw uh, online um, so yeah that OEM sequence is a great great way to hit that market as well yeah. and my, my final question would be that the, to the viewers out there if you are an engineer and you're looking for some parts yes and you want a reputable distributor what advice would you give to them yeah, absolutely. So Distrelec is should always be an option for you. Um, we have over 150,000 products in stock. We've got our highest inventory levels ever, so it's all available. Uh, alongside that, great customer service, competitive prices. Um, you know, we are a Swiss company. Um, we pride ourselves on sort of Swiss quality and high standards. Well, thank you ever so much for taking the time to meet us today. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very Cheers. Much. Thank you.